Soaring temperatures have reignited concerns over blackouts, and some lawmakers say it may be wise to keep the nuclear power plants going past their scheduled retirement deadlines. Premier Lai ching responded on social media to say Taiwan will easily be nuclear-free by 2025. At the Legislative Yen, Atomic Energy Council Minister She Xiaoxing rejected the idea of keeping the plants going past their deadlines, saying there was no good reason for it. As the blazing heat stokes fears of a blackout, supporters of nuclear power are becoming more vocal. Today, Atomic Energy Council Minister Xie Shoxing was called to the Legislative Yuan to answer questions and concerns about nuclear energy and its future in Taiwan. We're starting up a referendum on the possibility of using nuclear to nourish renewables. I must emphasize that going nuclear-free is our end goal. No question about it. However, we believe that the deadline of 2025 is a bit tight. I don't see a good reason for using nuclear to nourish renewables. To be honest, nuclear and renewables are antithetical to each other. In a Facebook post, Premier Lai ching stated that both the Pan Blue and Pan Green camps had agreed to phase out nuclear power by 2025. He said the decision not to renew the three active nuclear power plants and to mothball the fourth plant had been made during the previous Ma Ying-jeou administration. These decisions effectively sealed the deal, leaving Taiwan without nuclear energy after May 2025. Answering the concerns over future blackouts, the Premier said the problem would not be that Taiwan can't generate enough electricity for public consumption. The only problem would be that there won't be enough electricity in reserve, he said. The AEC minister agreed. I'll be frank. Currently, we don't have a power shortage problem. As the local elections approach, it's a delicate situation for government officials for whom a national blackout could cost precious votes.